uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to this Judicature Tribunal and Dinkum Oil Forum. You see, the focal point and crux of this court edifice is to facilitate a society and cosmopolitan metropolis that is devoid of Mephistophelian, lugubrious, tumultuous, agi bagi, and to do who have hoga moga. So, young lady, what propelled and catapulted you to this honorable court? Well, sir, thank you. Okay. This man and my husband. And I carry on calling to come and report my husband to owner. Because I don't tire. Yeah, hey. The problem why I gave my marriage is that this man cheated on me. My husband they carry different, different women. Anytime they pay my husband's salary, he go carry and go lodge with woman for hotel. They go stay there out, you know, squander all the money for my husband go come house. Huh? When he go finally come back, different numbers go they call my husband. My husband go go to so like go the answer call. He go go back and go the answer call. Eh? I go ask and say, why you need to answer this call for this room? I've been out of no day this room. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even catch my husband red-handed with another woman. Ah! This marriage don't tire me. Eh? What is that? My husband be knock, knock up and down. If you believe, say, this man don't wire all the girls for our street. Chai! Your husband, wire. Young man, are you an electronic technician? Young lady, please, you have to be meticulous and fastidious whenever you open your book cavity to vocalize and verbalize what you're disseminating from your hypothalamus. You have to use plain words that I will understand. What do you mean by wire? I mean, say, you don't sleep with all the guests for our streets. Ah. Uh, over to you, young man. Looking at all the nuts and bolts and the ingredients that you just disseminated from our vocabulary, would you say that it is engulfed with utmost stupendous and tremendous veracity Verity, authenticity, candor, and dinkum oil. This man! Uh, what I mean is that uh, what she said is it the truth? What is your opinion? Ah, Oga. What is she talking? Uh, please, young man, whenever you're protruding in front of the academic juggernaut, you have to refer to me using the appropriate nomenclature, rubrics, cognomen, pregnomens, and nom diploma. You have to refer to me by the professor emeritus or barrister. Okay. Barrister. What is she talk? Some of them are lie. <laughs> Why some? Not truth. Okay, continue. You see, this is my wife. She play me while you. Chai. She scammed me. Look, wait now, they see now where I see. We carry my hard earned money. Marry her when I've been a friend. Her. God have mercy upon us. You see, this woman, when I never marry her, she may take care of herself. She may make her hair. They fix her nails. They wear sexy gown. Woman will be see when I carry her out. My friends, they jealous her. Eh? And they, to the extent, I even they tell my friends, say, my woman, find past their woman. And they, they agree. <laughs> she may look very beautiful. Okay. But as soon as I marry her, so she change overnight. She may they meet her hair again. She may they fix her nails again. She may they even spray perfume again. All those fine, fine guns, she may they even wear them again. She may they tie her from morning to night. You see this rapper when you see her the tie like this, it don't reach two days, she never come out. But not be like this, she will dress before. She never not dress sexy again. Chai. Hold on. You should say they give her money to they buy all these fine fine clothes where they talk about. I they give her money now. Continue. Take a good look at this hair. I don't give her money three times to make this hair. But see, the hair is still there like that. I don't know what she they use the money to do. <laughs> oh yeah, wait. Take a good look at these pictures now. See how she been there when with a friend. And how she did now. She's totally different. This will be a younger sister. Oh. God have mercy upon us. There's an enormous gulf, incongruity, dissimilitude, non-conformity, and variance between the homo sapiens protruding in this canvas and the one that is currently protruding in this geographical local. There's a huge difference between the person standing here and the one that is currently protruding in this portrayal and picture. You see what now they talk? Uh, looking at the whole nuts and bolts and ingredients that you've both provided, this is not a prob Ignagian and Pantagrelian, Katzin German, Nodus, Gordian Nut, and Cash 22. This man! Uh, over to you, young lady. The cataclysm and predicaments that you're currently facing in your marital amalgamation is a little bit of your fault. 
because what you just did is a breach of contract. What you did is bonko, monkey shine, hanky panky, and flim flam. A uh, young lady, the issue he has with you is that you abruptly changed your style of dressing and grooming immediately you got married to him. And that is what is actually galvanizing and propelling him to be promiscuous because you're not giving him what he saw and loved in you. Do you think you can be able to go back to that same style of dressing and grooming? No problem. Uh, over to you, young man. Do you love your wife? Uh, are you willing to leave your promiscuous way and focus only on your wife if she goes back to her previous style of dressing and grooming? And do you think you can provide her with enough spondulix and wonga? That is enough funds for her to go back to her previous style of dressing and grooming. Okay. So this is the verdict. Young lady, please go back to your previous style of dressing and grooming. Try to look pocketudinous and glamorous for him. That being the reason why he fell in love with you in the first place. And young man, please, you have to terminate and kibosh your promiscuous and licentious ways. Do you think you can both do that? Gaga to one gaga. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to this Judicial Tribunal and Dinkum Oil Forum. This is a law court that is geared towards setting a society that is devoid of higodi pigodi, jigri pokri, and cataclysmic brohaha. So, young lady, what brought you to this honorable court? Thank you, Barrister. This man here is my husband. The reason why I brought him here is because I want a divorce. So are you saying you want to repudiate, sunder, and alienate this conjugal bond, wedlock, amalgamation, and merger? Eh? Are you saying you want to kibosh and terminate this marriage? You want a divorce? Yes, barrister. Okay. Continue. May I ask why? Barrister, we'll be married for a year. And the marriage is not flowing, barrister. Barrister, no love. Not like that vibe is not there. Pastor, please let's just divorce today and share the property. So I will go my way. My husband will go his way. I don't want to marry anymore. I don't want. You joking? A young man, have you heard how she meticulously and punctiliously calibrated from my hypothalamus and hippocampus? Eh? What is your own POV? That is point of view or side of the story vis a vis what she just disembowed. Okay. Thank you, Barrister. Um, as you can see, my wife brought us here and not me okay so i don't want this divorce eh? we've talked about this uh -huh. and i've told her that we should not do this i don't want this divorce so i don't know why she's pushing it as for me i still love her Jay. and i'm ready to make sure everything works out in this marriage i don't want the marriage anymore barrister i don't want the marriage anymore let's sign the divorce now and end the marriage now barrister barrister let's do everything now share the property sign the divorce everything now i don't want the marriage anymore well barrister it seems my wife already made up her mind and um, at this point there's nothing i can do anymore sorry yo. let's go ahead and sign the divorce paper if that will make her happy my dear i hope you know that marriage is for better for worse uh elder since they want to divorce i love them I go and find a piece. So are you saying you're both ready to sign these divorce papers? Hey, Barrister, right now I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's sign the divorce paper, share the property. That is it. So I can go my way. I have a lot to do with my life, Barrister. Okay, let's start with two. Please come and sign. Educational Giganaut Barista Titus Chai Who go free use English program Only Barista Titus When he speak, he go lawyer Free use English Marigu So at this Sangam Juncture Intersection and Synapse We have to bifurcate, fork it, divaricate, dissect and bisect your assets and patrimony So we have to share the property, right? Barista my husband earns 50 million naira every month and we have two houses. I want everything to be shared equally, 50-50. I understand that uh, you do earn 50 million naira monthly and you also have uh, two properties. But from the document I have there, none of the house bears your pregnomen, nom diploma, nomenclature and cognomen. I don't understand. None of these house documents bears either of your names. 
Yes, barrister. Those two houses, I bought them using my mother's name. Oh, so technically, the both houses belong to your mom. Yes, barrister. You're correct. Also, I have your bank statement here. I can clearly see that you earn 50 million naira monthly. Yes, barrister. But you see, looking at the account statement, your income does not corroborate and correspond with the current balance. Yes, barrister. Every month, my salary goes straight to my mother's account. <laughs> so, if I need anything, I beg my mom for money. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, so young lady, this is the verdict. Uh, since both houses he bought using his mother's name, I am sorry to say that uh, we cannot share both houses amongst the two of you because the houses actually belong to his mother. Ah. And uh, looking at his bank account, since his salary goes straight to his mother's account, what he has left in his own account is the sum of 350. 350 million? No, I mean 350 Naira. Jay! Hey! Jesus. So, um, after withdrawal and POS charges, what we have left is 100 Naira. So, Mr. Man, please, can you share the 100 Naira with her? You never see anything. You never see anything. Hey, guys, you'll you give me change. 50-50. <laughs> so, I believe that is the verdict. Gaga to one Gaga. So gentlemen, you're warmly and extensively welcome to this Chancery Judicature and Tribunal. And I, Professor Barista Titus Augustus, I'm the big wig Sachem, High Mokamo, Gafa, Nubra Onu, and High Honcho and Bench of this adulated and extolled Judicature and Tribunal. And as you all know, I'm modus operandi and modus vivendi is to aggrandize and uh, propel a society that is devoid of Igodi Pigodi, Hoga Moga, and Wami Tango, Johnny Brook Frackers. Who came here with you? So, young man, what plunged, propelled, and just told you from your terminus aku to this Dinkum Oil Forum? What brought you here? Thank you, my lord. My lord, you know for a long while now, you know the situation of the country, and for a long while I've been suffering. I've been looking for every means to make money, legitimately. The one. He did grand running. I've gone through 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 hell to make this money. Chai. But things are not really working well for me. So I met this man. <laughs> and he told me he's the strongest native doctor in town that he can be able to make me have money. Make money under one week. In fact, I'm going to be richer than Dangote. For which I agreed. He said I'm going to give him the sum of 400,000 naira. I pleaded with him that I don't have that kind of money. That the only money left with me now is just my house rent. You be mumu. He said, ah, I will make more than that. <laughs> so, okay, since I will make more than that, okay, I will add the house rent and I saw some money from my friend. You never see anything. You never see I anything. I sourced for this money and I went to his shrine and I gave him the 400,000 naira. And he assured me, he beat his chest. Under, under one week, I will be a millionaire. In fact, I will be competing with Dangote. The wine Jesus. I was very happy. I gave him the money. I left his shrine and I was waiting. It is a pity for One you. week passed. <laughs> Two weeks passed. I, I went back to his shrine. I asked him, Oga, what is happening now? I've, I've not seen any changes. No problem. He said, the ritual is still processing. I was like, okay. Two months, three months. I gave him a call. He still told me that the ritual is still under processing. What kind of, which kind of ritual is that one? My lord, as I'm talking to you, I waited and waited. Instead of me becoming that millionaire. I'm becoming broker by the day. As he stands now, I can't even afford one cup, one single cup of gari. You never see anything. You never see anything. I was, I was still patient with him. I waited. Now it is over six months now. My landlord is on my neck. In fact, he came the other day with some with some policeman that is going to throw me out if I don't give him his money. The reason why I came here now is for him to just give me my money, my four hundred thousand naira. Before, before, before I kill this man, because before this man I kill this man. So over to you, young man. After hearing his persnickety and pernickety, Jay! his scrupulous, punctilious, and elucidation, can you kindly and meticulously perorate and expound the brass tracks and nitty gritties of your own POV and side of the story? I say, God name, beg you. Speak with Nago, yeah. And what I mean is that, please tell us your own side of the story. Okay. Barista, thank you. This man where they here? I be a for my life. Come a shine. Say he need money, he won't reach. 
I know you really meant to go back. I know you really meant to come. Well, now my work. Now what can I do for people? I charge them waiting to go pay. Just 400,000 only. In pay. Uh -huh. I do the work for them. Okay. <laughs> I give them time saying go there one week before the whole team will work out for them. In go back. Okay. After one week, uh -huh. in reach out to me say the team no work. I consulted my gods. But now they hear say network no good. The gods in the struggle for network problem. Reach out now some to ABC go go wait. Money go enter with the for them, but he never won't wait. The money will go give them. Eh? Join Dangote, a two dollar, uh, 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 Tinibu. Join them together, he go get money pass up. Bombastic side eye. My lord, now even inside that 400,000, uh -huh. now they buy goats, yam, plantain, buy ram, snaps, and other things for the girls and the children. This is a case involving uncanonical, cranky, zany, anomalous, and aberrant modus operandi of making money. Now we don't get money, we don't, we don't show ourselves. And of course, it involves score drugery, underhandedness, and monkey business. Young man, I have a question for you. Why didn't you use that 400,000 naira to start up a business? Maybe by now you would have blown. Eh? You are looking for a shortcut. Now you've lost everything. You assured me. That will be Richard Adangote. Which business will last start on that one week and I will be Richard Adangote? You understand this kind of things. And over to you, young man. Was there any form of agreement that you were going to refund him the sum of 400000 if he did not work out? I tell him from the starting. Say the gods know the refund money. And angry. Start. So young man, from the inception and foresight origo of this whole thing, he told you that he would not refund you if it doesn't work out. And you still went ahead to do it. Uh, at that particular time, I was concentrating on becoming a millionaire. You know, all these things, my mind was not really, really there. I was just focused on becoming a millionaire. So this is my verdict. You see, this is a case involving heteroclites, heterodox, heretical and unorthodox indulgence. So young man, you left the city with the sum of 400,000 naira and you went to the bush to give somebody that lives in the bush that 400,000 to help you be a millionaire. To be mumu, you think they are wise? That is the highest level of nincompoop and tomfoolery that I've ever envisaged and expired. So this is the final verdict. Uh, things from the Fonzet Origo and the inception of this whole thing, you had already agreed okay. that there will be no form of refund if it does not work out. I'm sorry to say that he will not be refunding you the sum of that 400,000 naira. That is the verdict. Gaga to one gaga. I, I got the advice from a madman. And gentlemen, it is with great joy that I give you a balloony, commodious, and capacious, faulty reception and welcome to this revered, venerate, and honorable Dinkum Oil Forum and Judicial Courthouse. So I, Professor Barrister Titus, the Judicial and Academic Juggernaut, Please, will be the Judicial Mochacho, Mokamok, and Gava of this judication. So without wasting much time, in a liquidity split and chop chop modules, let's quickly digress and propel to the crux and focal points of this colloquy, Kurero, and judicial convergence and convention. So, young man, what brought you to my courthouse? You see this man? Uh -huh. He get filling station. A month ago, I go in filling station to buy 200 liters of fuel. Then there is self fuel, 200 naira per liter. I even give him the sum of 40,000 naira to feed that 200 liters for me. Instantly, I can't receive call. We come make me come up from there. From there, I can't travel. Come back after a month. I can't go meet this man. See, may he give me my 200 liters where I don't pay for. Why I don't give her 40,000 naira already? He come to tell me, say, no, if you give me my 200 liters again, say, uh, so I don't increase to 620 naira per liter. Jay! I can't say, ah, maybe something I don't pay for. Even give me Jericho, say, may he feel him. 
He say, you know, go give me. So over to you, young man. After hearing his meticulous adumbrations, harangue, and teacher, Jesus, can you kindly give us a Catholic compendious and encyclopedic details of this trakasri and whammy rami ding dong? What is that? I don't understand. Or what I mean is that what is your own point of view? What is your own side of this issue? Thank you, Barista. Now, true say this man, come my felicitation one month ago. Give me 40,000 to give him 200 liters of fuel. And that time, fuel not 200 naira per liter. Barista, this man can't receive call. Leave Jerry Khan for me and money. Come out. After one month, they come back now. Say, make I give him that fuel we him pay for. And Everybody knows if fuel don't increase. Currently, I don't know if you give them 200 liters of fuel for that previous price we didn't pay for. Jay. Because fuel now, now 620 naira per liter. Which means that we lose now. Oh, okay. Why that day why I give you the money? You don't feel that fuel inside the jerrycan. Keep on for your filling station for me. My filling station will be like store for you. Eh? I, be, I, be, I look like security. Now me go to secure your fuel. You go travel. So at this juncture, Sangam and intersection, I have uh, questions for each of you. Uh, over to you, young man, the buyer of the foil. What stopped you from taking the foil to your house the same day you bought and paid for it? Barrister, I will receive call and an emergency, so I get to travel from there. Uh, over to you, the seller of the foil. What stopped you from filling the jerry can and keeping it for him till this time, the same day he bought and paid for the foil? Uh, barrister, I think give me the jerry can and the money. If I can come out. I wait for a manosium. I wouldn't have to do. You see, this case is confusticate, labyrinth, and intricate. But have no boogie, boogaboo, and do not be buffaloed. Because I, the judicial harbinger, is the bench of this case. I would make sure that we treat it amicably. Ah, no, so. So at this point, let's review the facts. Since the buyer bought about 200 liters of fuel at the rate of 200 naira per liter, that's 40,000 naira, but did not collect the fuel at that time, and the buyer is now coming back a month later, and the price of fuel has skyrocketed to 620 naira per liter, that is an extra 84,000 naira. The seller cannot give you that same 200 liters of fuel that you bought for 40,000 naira with the current price because that would be an extra 84,000 naira loss on the side of the seller. And also the buyer cannot pay an extra 84,000 naira for the fuel that he had already paid 40,000 naira for a month ago. So this is the final verdict. Both the buyer and the seller will bear the losses because you're both at fault. So the court is decreeing that the buyer should pay an extra 42,000 naira to get his 200 liters of fuel back. And the seller would also be losing 42,000 naira in order to complete the 200 liters of fuel to give to the buyer. That is the final verdict. Gaga to Gaga. I, I got the advice from a madman. So ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to this Judicature Tribunal and Dinkum Oil Forum. This is a forum that is geared towards painting a society that is devoid of higo de pico de cataclysmic broha and stupendous quagmire. So young lady, what brought you to this honorable court? My lord, this lady here is my girlfriend. We've known ourselves for so long and we've been lovers. Young lady, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whenever you're disseminating some information, you have to punctiliously calibrate and meticulously disgorge out some easy words so that I can understand. When you say she's your girlfriend and lover, what do you mean? My lord, we're in a relationship together. So are you saying she's your paramour? That means she's your lemon, doxy, and shishibeo. Are you trying to say she's your lover? <laughs> yes, my lord. She's my lover. Woman to woman. Onade. My lord. I eventually got married. And she got angry and asked me to divorce my husband. Fine. I love her so much, I'll do anything for her. I divorced my husband. And we've been together, we've moved in together for two weeks now. We've been living happily, having fun, enjoying ourselves. Men don't finish for this life. 
Men don't finish for this life. And one morning she just woke up and asked me to pack my things and leave her house. My lord, I have divorced my husband. And I can't leave her because I love her so much. My lord, I'm stranded. I don't know what to do. A young lady, you heard what she said. Uh, what is your own part of the story? Thank you, Barista. What she said, she is right. Actually, we are lovers. She's my girlfriend, I'm her boyfriend. So hold on, young lady. Are you trying to tell me that you're her inamorata and she's your inamorato? What? Are you trying to say you're her boyfriend and she's your girlfriend? Yes, Barista. Daughters of Jezebel, my lord. Women, whenever reach all of us, then you other women. Pull us the, 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 the dragon. Uh, this is a law court. Let's not stigmatize. Uh, my dear, continue. Thank you, Barista. Actually, we are lovers. I love her too. I love her so much. We go out together. We travel together. We do everything together. Like She's just like a wife to me. So, Barista, the thing is, last week, I gave my life to Christ. I'm no longer interested in dating women. I'm not a born-again Christian. I'm not a born-again Christian. I can't do such anymore. I can't do women. So are you telling me that you're no longer interested in women? You're not interested in men? Yes, Barista. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, this is my number. Call me after this concession. Uh, you see, after hearing from the both of you, I can deduce that this is a convoluted, inexplicable, cordial, naughty, and Daedalian case. I must say, in my extensive, titanic, pantagrelian, and donkey years as a buffing, erudite egghead and an apparagic of the law, I must say with utmost veracity and dinkum oil that I've never uh, encountered the case that is this labyrinth and serpentine. In my plethora of cases that I've kept under my canopy, I've never treated a case that involves two women copulating, indulging in pata pata and rumpy pumpy. You see, this is a case that involves two lassie or two calling copulating, so we have to be extremely sensitive to the crinkum crankums and the nitty gritties that both ladies have uh, disembogued from their hypothalamus and hippocampus. So before we proceed to the verdict, I have a few questions to throw at you. Uh, let's go with you first. Young lady, are you saying you had to divorce your husband to move in with her? Yes, my lord. She said she loves me and she wants to spend the rest of her life with me. So when you decided to move in with her and reside in her edifice and habitat, was there any formal agreement that bound the both of you together that you continue living together no matter the heavily pegody and quandary? Sorry? And what I mean is that uh, when you were moving with her, was there any document or agreement you had that you must live with her come rain, come shine? No, my lord. So young lady, you're saying you're no longer interested in this relationship and you want to terminate and kibosh it exigently. Barista, I'm no longer interested in women. I'm not interested in men only. So this is the verdict. Uh, young lady, since there's no legal document or any form of verbal agreement binding the both of you to continue living together and the house actually belongs to her and she wants you out, uh, you have to leave her house. But uh, over to you, we're also pleading with you to give her up to a week to put herself together so that she can move out. Would that be possible? So fine, that's the verdict. Gaga Twangaga.